him, right? So if you look here, you'll see, you know, Ryan Garcia literally getting liquid IVs, right? Right there, he's getting liquid IVs, okay? Liquid IVs, Ryan Garcia is getting liquid IVs. Blue Blood Sports TV has revealed footage of Ryan Garcia self-administering injections just 10 days before his fight with Devin Haney. This follows Garcia's earlier accusations against Haney for using injections, purportedly leading to Haney's significant weight gain before their match. Well, he's having liquid IVs, and that liquid IVs is allowing him to rehydrate. Well, Ryan Garcia is doing what? Using a liquid IV to rehydrate. In his recent interview, Devin criticized Ryan Garcia, warning that Garcia would face dire consequences if he attempted to harm him. Devin also issued a stern caution to the prominent boxer. Maybe your mindset coming into this fight. Listen, Ryan might get killed trying to kill me. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you want something so bad, it backfires on you. So we'll see. You know, he may run into some. Stay tuned as we delve into the latest controversy surrounding Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney allegedly using liquid IVs before their upcoming fight. In today's video, we'll explore how the boxing community has been ignited by allegations and rebuttals between the two fighters. Accusations of performance-enhancing drugs have surfaced, with Blue Blood Sports TV making notable observations. Right? So if you look here, you'll see, you know, Ryan Garcia literally getting liquid IVs, right? Right there, he's getting liquid IVs, okay? Liquid IVs, Ryan Garcia is getting liquid IVs. In his recent video, the YouTuber and boxing analyst shared surprising footage of Kingry receiving injections of liquid IVs, which are allegedly illegal. This has raised questions about Garcia's preparation for his upcoming fight against Devin. The incident has sparked debate within the boxing community. Despite Garcia's explanation, citing a vitamin deficiency due to lack of sleep, the controversy persists, fueled by past drug use allegations and his unpredictable social media presence. The use of IVs in sports, particularly close to competition, remains a contentious issue. While IV therapy is common for hydration and nutrition, its timing and volume are tightly regulated by organizations like YADA. IV therapy can potentially be used to mask performance-enhancing drug use by diluting urine samples, making it harder to detect banned substances. Garcia's decision to undergo IV treatment so close to his fight inevitably draws comparisons with past incidents in boxing, such as Floyd Mayweather's IV use before his bout with Manny Pacquiao, which sparked controversy. Critics argue that such practices give athletes unfair advantages and raise ethical concerns about performance enhancement and the integrity of sports. Garcia's past, including admissions of IV use and previous drug allegations, adds complexity to the situation and raises questions about the authenticity of his claim that the IV was solely for vitamin replenishment. This controversy extends beyond Garcia and Haney's fight, touching on issues of transparency, fairness, and regulation in sports. However, how did Garcia's opponent, Devin, react to the situation? Maybe your mindset coming into this fight. Listen, Ryan might get killed trying to kill me. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you want something so bad, it's, it backfires on you. So we'll see. You know, he may run into some that uh, he won't take. The Dream isn't too bothered by Kingry's antics and has brushed them off. In a recent interview, Haney talked about Garcia's behavior, noting his tendency to make frequent and provocative statements. This has caused a loss of respect for Garcia among fans and fellow boxers, according to Haney. However, he also admitted to having some begrudging respect for Garcia for agreeing to the fight, acknowledging him as one of the few willing to face such high-level competition. Haney mentioned that negotiations between him and Garcia went smoothly, with both quickly agreeing on terms. He praised Garcia for being cooperative throughout the process, making the fight easy to arrange. When discussing the potential matchup with Garcia, Haney didn't hold back describing it as a mismatch and labeling Garcia as a C-plus fighter. He issued a stark warning, suggesting that Garcia might end up seriously hurt if he tries to take on Haney in the ring. Haney's words added to the rivalry brewing between the two competitors. He also expressed his intention to retire Garcia from boxing, saying, I'm going to beat the S asterisk 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 out of him. I'm going to beat him so bad we won't need a rematch, Haney confidently stated. The world won't even want to see a rematch. I've lost a lot of respect for him. I pride myself on being a true professional in everything I do. This guy is just a clown, and I'm going to push him out of boxing. 
Haney's decision to overlook the controversy surrounding his use of IV drips and alleged PED use shows his mental strength. By not getting involved in Garcia's antics, Haney demonstrates a maturity beyond his years, a trait often found in seasoned fighters who have faced the mind games of high-stakes bouts. His unwavering confidence amid the storm surrounding Garcia suggests thorough preparation and belief in his ability to win. Haney's warning to Garcia about the consequences of trying to gain an unfair advantage shows he's ready to seize any opportunity. While this may intimidate some, for Haney, it's a sign of his determination to dominate the fight and make the most of any situation. This mental edge, combined with his physical readiness, makes Haney a tough opponent. His focused approach extends beyond words to his training, planning, and mental readiness, all indicating his goal not just to win, but to leave no doubt about his superiority. In a sport where distractions can lead to costly mistakes, Haney's ability to block out distractions and stay focused could be his biggest asset come fight night. True Jordy from the Pain Game podcast recently shared insights into the highly anticipated fight, offering perspectives on both fighters' preparation and mindset. While he didn't make a definitive prediction, Jordy highlighted key points that set the stage for what promises to be an electrifying matchup. It's good to know, good to know. I actually did wonder if Ryan would start to all of a sudden act a bit more sober the closer we get to the fight. As it happens, Jordy discussed the mental strategies of both fighters, likening Ryan Garcia's approach to boxing legends like Muhammad Ali and Tyson Fury, known for using psychological tactics. Despite Garcia's controversial comments and behavior, Jordy recognized his ability to stay relevant in the boxing world. While expressing concerns about Garcia's erratic behavior, potentially affecting his performance, Jordy also praised his bravery for accepting challenging fights despite the risks involved, showing a willingness to put his fame on the line. So the concerns for Ryan Garcia's mental health are very much still there. Like, if he wasn't coming out with all of this, I'd be more confident that he had a better chance in this fight. This does make me worried. Devin Haney is the... Com Jordy pointed out the contrast in the fighters' public personas, depicting Haney as the focused athlete aiming for boxing greatness. This difference in mindset could sway the fight's outcome. Discussing Garcia's potential as a global boxing figure, Jordy noted his widespread recognition thanks to his celebrity status and social media presence. While Haney may have more hardcore fans, Garcia's visibility benefits the sport by promoting major fights and facing top contenders. Jordy painted a picture of a complex rivalry, exploring the psychological aspects and personal growth of both fighters while acknowledging uncertainties about the fight. His insights make the bout intriguing for both hardcore fans and casual viewers. Speaking of drama before the fight, Ryan Garcia recently claimed that Kanye West declined to accompany him during his walkout for the April 20th fight in a conversation with the Spitbucket podcast. Garcia stated that he asked Kanye to join him but was allegedly turned down due to Garcia's past comments about P. Diddy. This adds to the excitement for the upcoming fight, making it one of the most anticipated of the year. Can Garcia defeat Devin Haney in the ring on April 20th? Share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.